Hey guys, welcome back to another Punishing Grey Ripper video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at B-class characters in terms of what weapons should they be using, what memories should they be using as a support or as a DPS, or and are they worth investing? Now the reason I want to do B part uh, B class character first is because these are the characters that everyone has. So I will do I'll be doing an A class and S class part later but this is what I want to get out of the way first because everyone has the B characters then they're thinking that should they invest resource into certain certain uh, B class characters or should they not so let's get into it so first of all we're gonna be talking about one of the most valuable B class character in this game which is the B class Nanami when Alpha comes out or maybe if you're using like an S class Lee this is one of the best tank you could use for your physical damage team because she has one of the highest shield breaking utility in the game so because you have a free 5 star weapon which is given in the novice mission which you can take a look the attack has 20% chances of inflicting a broken armor so you would do more damage for your DPS that's why she is one of the best tank characters for your um, physical damage team including like supporting alpha or supporting like Lee maybe supporting the nightblade now if you're using her to break shields and defend only then do not get her 6 star weapon which is this it's not worth it and it doesn't provide you much value like the 5 star weapon is one of the best for Nanami if you use her to break shields to increase the damage for your DPS that 5 star weapon is one of the best so you don't have to waste like your black cards to trying to get this weapon it's useless unless you want to use Nanami as a DPS which I would definitely definitely not recommend so the set memory for B Nanami as a support tank I would say go for 4 Da Vinci and 2 Catherine because if you take a look at Da Vinci's um, set skills when you trigger Nanami's QTE you get increased damage for your DPS on the field But if you have four sets of it as soon as you trigger Nanami's QTE it leaves QTE go up as well So your DPS would gain an extra 20% damage instead of 10% damage That's why this is so important as a support if you're just using him uh, using Nanami to active QTE You would get extra damage when you're trying to burst you have to active your QT before you do a burst damage now after having four sets of da vinci you want to go with two sets of katrin as well because katrin provides reducing your enemy physical defense which is when you're procking your QT. that's why it works really well with da vinci and that's all you need five star memory currently i would not recommend anything you could still use this one as a replacement for katrin two sets of it still reduces the targets um defense by 10% but I don't know if the QT would work well with it so currently 5 star memory doesn't really provide much value so if you don't have the set of memory then just you know use something else try to get something else that would work now as for Nanami why is she so valuable in a physical damage team because she is the only one that could like reduces the enemy's defense and breaking their armor which you can take a look at her skills she had a skills which you could unlock around like S S tier, which is this one. No, not this one. This one. As soon as you hit S on Nanami, the attack lower the target's extra damage reduction by 10%. Extra damage reduction is different from physical damage defense or defense because usually when you're fighting like pain cages, boss would have like damage reduction instead of like armor. So this could reduce just their 10%. So that means you could provide your DPS like more damage and her blue orbs also decreases the enemy's physical resistance as well so this is why she's so valuable for physical damage team all you have to do is just get her to s you know try to get all the shards and raise her up to like s rank and that's all you need so don't worry about anything if you want to invest resource into her be sure to invest resource into her because she would be replaced by rosetta in around like nine to ten months but by that time during the nine to ten months you would gain more than enough resource to upgrade rosetta as well so don't even worry about that she's really really good for your uh, physical damage team so be sure to utilize her now the second one is b class lift which is some some sort of a sub dps because you know when you trigger her qt she doesn't really heal that much so that's why i would put her in a sub dps category first of all her weapon you could use the five star weapon that you're given or you could use her signature weapon which is the six star weapon as well now the set memory that i would recommend for her is for da vinci with two fedric for da vinci as you can see when you ping RB you increase damage that's why i said live is a sub dps you don't change her and get her on the field to do like 
put on buffs or anything. She is there to do damage when you run out of um, orbs for your DPS, right? When your DPS run out of orbs, you'll be doing a lot of auto attack, which does which does like no damage. That's why you would better off switching her in than put Liv onto the stage and do damage because her orbs do definitely do more damage than your auto attacks with your DPS. And then you can wait until your DPS is up again and you change it back, then your orbs will be restored during your downtime. So that's why you need her as a sub DPS. And you, if you're using Patrick, as you can see, each dodge increases movement speed and all damage dealt by 5%, you can stack up the trees. So it means that dodging and getting into Matrix and do more damage. That's all she's here for. Her QT doesn't heal you at all. Like just a little tiny bit. So that's why she's not good as a support character. She's more like a sub DPS. So she does damage as well if you put good weapons and good memory set on her. If you really want a healer, then I would definitely recommend like A-class lift because she, the A-class lift definitely heals way more than the B-class lift. And Liv is definitely a physical damage support because if you take a look at her triple S skills that she would be unlocking, you could get like 10% increased damage for your DPS, physical damage DPS when she's in reserve. So she definitely belongs in a physical damage team. Now the first two characters, B Nanami and B Leaf, is really really good. You can use them for a really really long time. But for Lucia, B class Lucia Lotus, I wouldn't recommend you try to make her your DPS because she's definitely not as good as the DPS that's coming out. For Lucia, I said you could use her as a DPS if you really want to, but you have to get her to like triple S plus, which takes a long long time. So obviously, if you really want to make her your main DPS, you definitely have to get her signature weapon. Every main DPS that you have, you will need a signature weapon for them in order for them to do like the most damage. And for the memory set, I would recommend 4 Barton, which is not released yet, which you can use um, Cordelina as a replacement if you have Cordelina. 4 Cordelina with 2 Fadric. If Barton is released during the alpha release, you can use 4 Barton with 2 Fadric or two Cordelina, that's it. So before Barton is released, you could use Cordelina as a replacement or some kind of a, you know. As you can see, these are all increasing the damage for Lotus. That's why I would recommend four sets of Barton with two sets of Fadric or Cordelina, that's it. So finally, for B-class character, I would recommend you only invest your resources into Nanami and Liv. Lucia is definitely not worth it unless you really, really like this character. And besides that, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you find it helpful, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.